Hey guys, welcome back to the Alcohol Free RV. Today's another Fun Food Friday, and this one's by suggestion from Kathy in Ohio. Kathy, if you're watching, I hope you enjoy this one. It's for you. We're gonna be making today a mac and cheese from the recipe provided by Washington State Creamery when we bought that lovely, amazing, creamy, rich dill garlic, uh, dill garlic jack cheese that we tasted last week. I'm not gonna be making this mac and cheese outside. I think that would be a little bit challenging. So we're gonna go inside and get started. completely in love with this stuff. We had the most amazing grilled cheese last night for dinner, and today we're gonna use a little bit more of it to make some uh, macaroni and cheese, but, well, campanelle, campanelli, campanelle, whatever. Pasta and cheese, kinda like mac and cheese, based off of the recipe that they provided with their cheese. So, I'm gonna go ahead, get this started, and we'll make it with you. This recipe calls for two and a half cups of the Cougar Gold, which is, I guess, the, the cheddar. I'm using this amazing dill garlic, which is kind of like a jack cheese. And I am gonna do my best to get about that two and a half cups that they're asking for. The dill and the garlic are really prevalent in here, and it just tastes delicious. And I love grating cheese by hand because I don't like shredding my fingers, so I leave myself with a nice little chunk of cheese. And the recipe for this calls for uh, rotini or corkscrew pasta. We have this on hand. I didn't want to go to the store just for this recipe. So I'm gonna be using this campanelle and we're gonna see how it goes. I, I think it should, it should work out pretty well. It does call for eight ounces so it's gonna be about a half a box of this stuff and a one and a half quart baking dish. So just to give you the amount of the volume that this is gonna make. I've got the water boiling or prepping to boil on the stove so we can get this going. And I'm gonna to get to, together the rest of the ingredients and then we'll, we'll go through all of that. And I'm getting excited. Right, so this is gonna be the fun part. It's gonna be making the cheese sauce. So the cheese sauce starts out with a basic roux and then we're gonna add milk and, uh, well, the cheese, the good stuff. So we've got two tablespoons of butter going in the pan and I'm gonna put this like on a medium or so just to get it melted and then we'll make that roux with two tablespoons of flour. All right, now that the butter has had a chance to melt a little bit, I am going to turn the temperature down just a little bit so that we don't like seriously brown it. should give everything a chance to complete melting but cool down so we don't scorch the milk when it goes in. Hopefully you can hear that butter sizzling. This should be good. Now two tablespoons of flour, all purpose. We'll whisk that in. And we're gonna let that kind of brown up just a hair. And we should go at this about two minutes. I can see the color is starting to change just a little bit. So that is our cue to start adding the milk. Now we want to do this slowly. And we want to try to avoid getting lumps.
starting to get it unlumpified. Once you have the first bit down and you've got it thinned out, you can add the milk a bit faster. And now, we've got all the milk in, so we want to let this get up to the simmer and let that go for about 15 minutes. Part of me wants to make a double batch, but I want the cheese for other stuff too. What do I do? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get the pasta in. Basically, you're looking for just tender. So you don't wanna overcook it because it's still gonna cook some more uh, once it's in the oven. Here's a little campanelle. Should hold on really nicely to this cheese sauce. It's about a half a box. Don't forget to keep an eye on your milk so that it doesn't boil over. You keep an eye on that for me. I am going to create some breadcrumbs. And now this recipe does call for fresh breadcrumbs. I don't know. I don't have breadcrumbs in a can, but I do have some homemade bread. So we will try to, I don't know, toast this up a little bit and make some crumbs. I'm good at making crumbs. We used to have a running joke in my house. I, uh, I had a tendency to make crumbs with everything. And so the joke was that I can make crumbs out of soup. So, if I can make crumbs out of soup, I can certainly make crumbs out of bread. So I think what I'm gonna do here is just cut a slice. Oh, it's starting to crumble, which is good. That's what I'm aiming for is crumbs. And I'm aiming for about a half a cup. Would this fit in here? I mean, it's, it's approximations. It's just gonna go on top. So. Here's what I think we'll do. Toss it in the oven, right, right on my pizza stone. Um, we've got these pizza stones in our in our RV uh, to try to even out the heat in the oven. So, try to make use of it. Oh, that's a little bit more than a uh, a little bit more than a simmer. I did ask you to watch it. Unfortunately, I know that doesn't work. That was close. Alright. That seems to be okay for now. Milk does this thing where the moment you stop paying attention to it, it boils over. The nice thing about this new wave is that didn't get burned onto the onto the burner. The recipe does call for a quart and a half baking dish. I don't have one measured by volume. I have a square one. It's an eight by eight. So that's what I'm gonna use. It looks like everything should fit in here. So wish us luck. Uh, they do ask that it's greased. I'm just gonna use cooking spray. I should probably check on that bread. Ooh, it's start starting to crisp up a little bit. A nice golden brown on one side. Yeah, toast. French toast. Oh. French toast. I'm getting ideas here. I'm getting ideas. Let's see if I can get it to boil over a third time. Think I can do it? Alright, timer for the pasta just went off. So we're gonna 
taste one. It's kind of warm. It just came out of boiling water, but it's starting to feel a little bit tender. I think that's actually good, so I'm going to drain it. I'm looking away. Here goes my milk again. Pasta goes straight into your prepared pan. Alright, it's starting to be starting to be crummy enough, I think. I'm going to try to run it across my grater. We'll see, see how that works. I'm using the small grater side of this with the with the the fresh bread and it's working not great but it's working i think mostly it's just breaking it apart um because it's it's not really grating well it's probably uh at least two slices of bread next time um but that's okay since our timer went off i want to go ahead and stop this and I'm gonna start adding the cheese. Oh my goodness, this sauce is smelling so good. Once you heat that dill and garlic up, it really opens up the aromas. Man, does it smell good. Okay, well, that is all the cheese. Less the stuff that I spilled everywhere. Let's just grab a spoon real quick. The cook gets to taste it. Mm. That is delicious. Oh, doesn't that look good? Now lastly, because I didn't prepare, I don't have any more uh, sticks of butter to butter the breadcrumbs like it asked me to, so we're just gonna throw them on anyways. My, my crumbs are kind of big, as you can see. I didn't measure it, but it sure did not look like a half a cup on the plate. There you have it. Oh, I forgot that cheese is hot. Note to self. So, in the oven it goes 30 minutes or until the crumbs are golden. And so we are gonna take a pause and we'll taste how awesome this is when we come back. Sizzling, every damn sizzling. This is super creamy. The dill comes through not as much as I had expected it to, but the texture of the sauce turned out amazing. Mm, it is still, mm, there it is. Got that dill coming in now. A little bit of that garlic. Well, this is going to be an amazing side dish for dinner tonight. I've got some chicken cooking on the stove right now. This is a side. We are going to feast. So thanks everybody for watching this. Let me know how you make your mac and cheese. And do you do it out of box? Do you do it homemade? Let us know in the comments down below. Go ahead. If you like this, give us a thumbs up. 
thumbs down if you didn't, and click that subscribe button so you see when we do more fun food Fridays. We'll see you next. We'll see you next time.